It's a brand new day, a brand new week, and a brand new life. Thanks be to God. Hi, my name is Brother Pio, and welcome to Reap Elections. In the past week, our social media walls have been filled with colors thanks to a massive solar activity which caused the Aurora Borealis up north and the Aurora Australis down here in the Southern Hemisphere. While it wasn't my first time to experience and witness it, it was still exciting for it happened here in Melbourne wherein we don't get much of it, especially that we have some light pollution, no thanks to the lights in the metro. However, it was still fantastic for it brought some memories of how excited I was during my first experience. But do you know what's more gratifying than the first time that I witnessed it? It is when I was able to help others experience and capture their very first Aurora Australis. Some messaged me and I gave them tips on how and where to find this phenomena. And boy, oh boy, did they come back excited, sharing how it was such an exhilarating experience. Some were even teary-eyed for finally being able to tick one of their bucket list. Friends, the word Aurora not only reminds me of my electricity bill back in Tassie. That's the name of the company who provides us power. <laughs> I'm also reminded of my childhood days wherein there were dawns when we would wake up to join the Aurora prayer, which is in honor of Mama Mary. Today, the Catholic Church commemorates Mama Mary as the mother of the church. You see, she bore Jesus, who is the Christ. And scripture says that the church is the body of Christ. Therefore, Mary is the mother of the church. And who composed the church? You, me, and everyone else. That's why we call her Mama Mary. And one beautiful thing about Mama Mary is that she is consistent. She consistently leads and points us to Jesus. Even during the first miracle in Cana, she already told us, do what he's telling you to do. Follow him, obey him, be like him. And as I continue to heed this calling from our mother, I also come to experience the goodness of God in my life. Something which I could not just keep to myself but to share with others too. And this is the reason why Brother Kemp and I and some other brothers and sisters continue to do this weekly, some even daily, to share the love and goodness of God to others. Some do it personally, others do it in a group. But we don't share it because we're perfect. No, we're far from it. We don't share it because we are holy. We pray for the grace to be. But we share it because we are beggars ourselves who found the bread and we want to share to other beggars where and how to find that bread not just any bread but the bread of life my friend what is God calling you to share this week may you heed his call and we pray together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit amen loving Father we praise and thank you for the gift of life for the gift of love for all the blessings that you've given us especially for giving us Mary to be our mother. Give us the grace to become like her, obedient to your calling, obedient to your will. May we continue to follow Jesus as she leads us to him. And may we love like you. May we share the love that you've given us to others, not only to those who are close to us, but most especially to those who need it, especially those who are deemed to be unlovable. We praise and thank you for you are faithful and loving. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I pray that you will have a blessed week sharing God and His love to the world. Take care and see you on the next Repulections.